uh, we're going to talk today about a software package uh, that we developed for gene set testing after we've been evaluating some commercial and open source tools. So before I start, let's uh, get into what is gene set testing. Uh, so as we know, we, when we perform RNA-seq experiment or microarray experiments, so we usually end up with uh, a few hundred genes after we perform differential expression analysis, if we are lucky. If you work with the, probably some cell lines, you might end up with thousands. And uh, as you know, we've been doing this for probably the last three decades. So we've got large databases of uh, pathways, signatures, transcription factor targets, processes, uh, biological functions, and diseases. So these databases are growing exponentially every year. So gene set testing methods basically try to mine these databases and find some relevant gene sets. In other words, processes or functions that can describe your experiment. So you hope if you run uh, one of these methods, uh, you will end up with like five or 20, 25 if you are patient. So 25 gene sets that can tell you something about your uh, new biology. Now, uh, there have been a lot of work in literature. So there was, there was a recent benchmarking uh, published in BLOS1 by Taka, and they evaluated these methods. So they compared a lot of methods and they end up with the conclusion that the performance of these methods depend on different factors. So most of these, uh, the most prominent factors are the number of samples in your experiment, the size of gene sets that you are dealing with, and the experimental design, whether it is a paired design or unpaired design, and the percentage of genes that are differentially expressed. So to confirm this, we run uh, 12 different methods actually uh, from RNA-seq data. Uh, and then we generate here a multidimensional scaling plot. If you are familiar with this, it's kind of a PCA plot for the ranking of the individual methods on 200 gene sets. And then as you see, it's very clear that none of these gene sets agree on one ranking. So they, are, they can kind of tend to be quite different. And if you know that in literature, we have probably more than 30 methods uh, available. Most of them sit in the bioconductor repository if, uh, in the R bio bioconductor. So we need a way where we can basically improve the ranking. So we need to trust, uh, our we need a tool that we can trust basically to rank our methods. So to do this, uh, we proposed IGSI. IGSI, which is an ensemble approach that takes uh, normalized expression data, RNA sequencing or microarray uh, from the LIMA analysis pipeline, if you are familiar with the LIMA and EDGR packages. And then we feed it into 12 different methods at this stage. And then after that, we take the individual rankings and the individual statistics to combine uh, the, the rankings and improve the, the ranking of gene sets. After that, the results of the analysis are taken and to generate uh, interactive report. Uh, so the methods is already published in the Journal of Bioinformatics. Uh, it appeared last year. Uh, if you want to read about the algorithm, you can refer to the article. So currently, as I mentioned, we have 12 based methods. Uh, we can add more methods. It depends if we find methods that worth of adding. Uh, we also developed another package called IGSI Data. And this package basically aim to collect a lot of gene set signatures from literature, so mainly from MSIGDB, gene set DB, and CAG pathways. Currently, it includes uh, more than 25,000 gene sets. And these two packages, IGSI and IGSI data, they are both in the Bioconductor uh, open source project. Now, IGSI, uh, the advantage of IGSI over other gene set testing methods, it offers comprehensive reporting capability. So when you run IGSI, usually you will end up with a HTML report. And this HTML report, if you are running on multiple experimental conditions, you will see that each experimental condition in one group. And you, if you reuse multiple gene set collections, like some from MSIGDB or GeneSetDB, then you will be able to see this report. And then we also generate heat maps and pathway maps using the path view package from Bioconductor. We also generate heat maps and summary bubble plots and bar plots at the experimental level. So you can see, you can get uh, ready to use visualizations. You can take them just copy based into your publications. And the most important part is we also generate MDS plot where you can see how the base methods perform actually and whether you have a consensus or not. And most of the cases you will not get a consensus. 
So finally, how you run EXE. So to run EXE, it's uh, very straightforward, four simple steps. We tried our best to make it very simple because most of our uh, users are non-computer science scientists. So they like easy things like in R. So you need to build uh, and index your gene set collections first. So there are a few functions, build index or build custom if you have a custom gene set. And then you configure the analysis uh, settings, and then after that you run the testing and generate the report. So now we are in the process of submitting another paper in the F1000 research, hopefully it will appear next week, uh, where we explain in detail how you can run this workflow. So finally, I would just want to highlight that gene set testing leverages existing knowledge to reveal underlying biology, and EXE make this easy for you. So if you have uh, questions or you want to have more discussions, my boss uh, 143 uh, today, this evening. And if you want to come and take stickers, you are welcome as well. Thank you.